Now, the next exercise, locus seven. With the guide rule in the bottom here, and I have this wheel here that rotates like this. Now, what I want to do is roll the wheel along the guide rule and trace the path of this point as it rolls around. So starting from this position here, the wheel is rolling along the guide rule. Just mark the position of that point there. Rotate a small bit and mark another point and do the same again. And continue marking the points as the wheel rolls along the guide rule. And when you get down here, it starts to go back up again. And that's the points all marked. Now what we have to do is line that in. And that's the path traced by that point as the wheel roll along. We're going to the very bottom of the sheet because the sheet was sitting on the guide rule. So now just line in from point to point and that's the path traced by the wheel. Now this is the question as it will appear on the paper with no templates or anything. Just you'll be given a circle and the line here and you'll be told that the circle will roll along the line and to trace the path of point zero as the circle moves along the line. The circle is divided up into 12 equal parts using a 60 degree set square. So at 60 degrees and then at 30 degrees and that gives you the circle divided up into 12 equal parts. Now set the compass to one of those distances. So for, we'll say from 9 to 10 there, mark that from 12 points along the bottom here and then draw the lines vertically up to get the center point. These are center points now for the circle. The circle will be drawn from these points. Now this is it drawn on a piece of tracing paper so that you can see through it. So if I rotate the ro point one down to the line, the center point moves to point one position on the, on the line. And this line here is at 60 degrees. Now when I rotate 2 down to the line, the centre point again is on 2 and the line is at 30 degrees. When point 3 moves to the line, centre point on 3 and that line is horizontal. Now we're back up at 30 degrees and then 60 degrees and so on. So set the compass now to the radius of the circle. Put the point of the compass in the first point and draw an arc. And that's part of the circle that would be located at center point one. Now at 60 degrees, draw from point one down and that gets you where it intersects the circle is the first point. Now move to the next center and draw an, an arc. Again, this time that line being at uh, 30 degrees. So draw 30 degrees from the center down and that gets you the next point the next point is will be horizontal so we just mark off the point on the horizontal line next point four we draw an arc and then at 30 degrees from the center that gets you the point point five now draw an arc again and draw up at 60 degrees and that gets you the next point. Six now is a vertical line because it's at the very top of the wheel. Seven then, it has tipped over to the other side. So it's at 60 degrees the other direction. And eight. Arc again. This time we're drawing at 30 degrees. And of course nine now will be again on the horizontal line again. And 10, we're back down to a 30 degree line. And 11 is back to a 60 degree line again.
And the last one then, of course, is down at zero at the bottom. Now the points are along here like this. These are the points we have marked as we went along there. Now is the case of lining in the locus of the curve. So just line in the points. And that there is the locus of point zero as the circle moves along a straight line for one revolution. Now, that's your locus of a point seven complete.